Hi, Kathy. How are you doing? Kathy's career as a credit union manager means she is constantly meeting customers. That's a big problem when atopic dermatitis flares up on her face and fingers. It may just be my own insecurities where I feel, gosh, someone may not want to shake my hand. And while I know it's not contagious, um, they don't. But with her doctor's help, Kathy is finding ways to manage her disease and care for her skin. So if you can keep the area well moisturized and very soft and supple, when it bends, then it doesn't break and crack and fissure, so it will be less painful to you. This is not a one-size-fits-all. There can be a variety of therapies, and it really takes the partnership between a dermatologist as well as a patient to select what therapy is the most appropriate for that individual at that point in time. There are three basic kinds of treatment for atopic dermatitis. Topical treatments are medicines applied directly to the skin in the form of ointments, creams, lotions, oils, and gels. Moisturizers help reduce skin itching, cracking, and crusting. The American Academy of Dermatology calls moisturizers the cornerstone of all atopic dermatitis treatment and recommends that they be included in every patient's treatment plan. This is every time you've washed your hands, you want to do this. Corticosteroids can reduce inflammation and itching. They should be used only as directed to reduce side effects such as thinning of the skin. A number of other topical medicines are available as well, including non-steroid anti-inflammatory medications. Light therapy, also called phototherapy, uses special light bulbs that create ultraviolet light, which can help control atopic dermatitis. Under a dermatologist's care, light therapy treatments can be given at the doctor's office or at home. Systemic therapy works from the inside out. It addresses the immune system's reaction that may lead to atopic dermatitis. And what that means is sometimes you can take pills or you can have injected medications that will allow you to control the inflammatory portion of the condition. Another key to treatment is working with the dermatologist to identify and manage triggers. That can make a big difference in coping with the condition. 